The Russian Marines continued to die in Krinky, though it was announced liberated by the Moscow regime. Slowly, Ukrainian Marines have extended their beachhead. Whether it will be used for more extensive operations on the left bank remains to be seen. Kadyrov struggled to take off his coat at Putin's inauguration. He was helped by his two attendants. Opinions in Russian telegram channels were divided. Either he was playing the baron or he was in poor health. This month, we need to take the nearest territory, necessarily Odessa and Kharkiv, then force Zelensky to sign the necessary papers, Chechen leader Kadyrov said, referring to possible new attempts to seize Ukrainian territory. It seems that Ukraine, after a longer time without air defense losses, lost a rare and expensive vehicle. What we see here is, I believe, the Lancet destruction of a British-supplied Supercat truck carrying AEM-132 ASRAM missiles. German company Quantum Systems has opened a drone factory and a development hub in Ukraine. This is their second facility in Ukraine. It is expected to increase Quantum Systems production to 1,000 drones per year. With our own plant, we want to express our trust in Ukraine and our conviction that the future of drone technology is being written here, the company's CEO said. The new facilities will speed up the supplies of reconnaissance drones to Ukrainian armed forces. Quantum System sets a great example. More manufacturers and countries should do the same and start producing weapons in Ukraine. The armed forces of Ukraine have released a promo video of their M1A1, Situational Awareness, S.A. Abrams tank, with many close-ups. The following will illustrate the differences in the Ukrainian M1A1 configuration. From the UKR in the turret serial number suffix, we can know that the Ukrainian M1A1 uses a different Ukrainian armor package, which is different from the US Army's heavy armor package. The Ukrainian version of the M1A1 SA weighs 57.2 metric tons, which is much lighter than the U.S. Army configuration, which reaches 62.2 metric tons, 68.6 short tons. The Ukrainian M1A1 SA is also equipped with M19 Abrams reactive armor tiles, ARAT, on the sides of the hull, with a total of 64 tile boxes. It's worth noting that the Ukrainian M1A1 SA uses a large ring mounted on the sprocket wheel. This design was used on early M1 model, the purpose was to prevent the track from being thrown due to mud building up behind the skirt. Like the later variant of the U.S. Army M1A1 SA, the Ukrainian M1A1 SA is also equipped with a stabilized commander's weapon station, and the 50 cal thermal sight module is installed externally. The tank is able to utilize with the TC's SCWS thermal sight with the gunner and commander power control handle malfunctions and manual elevation trigger malfunction.
The commander's safe arm module is located to his right. The SAM can control SCWS weapon mode, fire control mode, combat override, normal mode drift control, and panel lights. The gunner's station is configured like a U.S. Army M1A1SA. Located on the far right of the gunner's primary site is the binocular image control unit, which provides the gunner with high-quality second-generation FLIR images. It is also worth noting that the Ukrainian M1A1SA is not equipped with the Blue Force tracking, and its satellite transceiver is usually located on the right side of the gunner site doghouse or, or on the EPLRS antenna base behind the right rear of the turret. Therefore, it can be noticed from the video that the commander of the Ukrainian M1A1SA is not equipped with the JV-5 computer of the FBCB-2 system or the MFOCS-2 computer of the JBCP system. The Ukrainian M1A1SA is equipped with a 2 kilov external auxiliary power unit at the rear of the turret, which is an older system. The newest system is the 3KW EAPU used on the M1A1 FEP. The Russian Federation continues to supply prototypes of armored fighting vehicles to the troops. This time the machine is 502 TB Altaets from the early 90s. After the collapse of the USSR, it was predicted as a replacement for MTLB. Armored vehicle 502 TB, created on the basis of the KSHM Potok 4 chassis on BMP3 components and assemblies in a steel case. A field hospital for animals in frontline Turetsk. Doctors take care of pets in horrible conditions under shelling. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.